working while receiving social security, the new rules. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving deep into the intricacies of collecting social security retirement benefits while still working. This is a topic that affects many, so grab a notepad and let's get started. Before we delve into the specifics, it's crucial to understand what social security retirement benefits are. These benefits are distinct from other types like social security disability benefits or SSI. To be eligible, you need to have worked for at least 10 years, which equates to 40 credits, and have contributed to the FICA tax throughout your working life. One of the most significant decisions you'll make is when to start claiming these benefits. The earliest you can begin is age 62, but the age you choose to claim between 62 and 70 can significantly impact your monthly benefits. For instance, if you claim at 62, your benefit gets reduced by 30%, but for every year you delay, this reduction decreases, meaning you get a higher monthly payout. Now, if you're someone who's considering claiming benefits early but still wants to work, there's something crucial you need to know, the earnings limit. This limit is the maximum amount you can earn from work without facing penalties on your social security benefits. For 2023, this limit is set at $21,240 for those who claim before reaching their full retirement age. If you earn more than this, you'll face a penalty where dollar one of your benefits will be withheld for every dollar two you earn above the limit. Your full retirement age or FRA is a pivotal point in this discussion. Your FRA is determined by your birth year. For those born between 1943 and 1954, it's 66, and for those born in 1960 or later, it's 67. Reaching your FRA has benefits. In the year you reach your FRA, the earnings limit jumps to $56,520 for 2023, and the penalty becomes less stringent with dollar one of benefits withheld for every dollar three above the limit. And once you cross your FRA, there's no earnings limit at all. But what exactly counts as earnings? For the Social Security Administration, only your wages or net earnings from self-employment are considered, so dividends, interest, pensions, capital gains, and other such income sources don't count towards the earnings limit. If you're married, there's another layer to consider, spousal benefits. If you claim early and exceed the earnings limit, it can impact not just your benefits, but also the benefits your spouse receives based on your record. It's also worth noting that while there might not be penalties after reaching FRA, your benefits might still be taxable, depending on your overall income. Claiming Social Security benefits is a significant decision that can impact your financial health in retirement. While some might benefit from claiming early, others might find it more advantageous to wait. It's essential to evaluate your personal and financial situation, understand the rules, and perhaps even consult with a financial advisor. Hey everyone, I've curated some valuable resources and links to help you dive even deeper into the topic of social security retirement benefits. Be sure to check out the description below for these useful links. They're designed to provide you with additional information and tools to make your retirement planning even more robust. Happy planning. That's all for today's deep dive into Social Security retirement benefits while working. If you found this video insightful, please give us a thumbs up, share with friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe for more detailed content. Until next time, stay informed and make wise financial decisions.